Welcome to the Coffee Clutch, a social gathering for good conversation over a cup of coffee. So grab yours and let's get started. I want to talk about an old saying today that I imagine most of you are familiar with, and it is you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. Now I have Googled, can you actually catch flies with honey or vinegar? Flies can be attracted to almost anything, but you're more likely to uh, catch ants with honey. So don't really try to catch flies with um, honey or vinegar. But that's really just a side note. The saying is referencing how we approach other people and how we talk to them. Now the saying became popular and is attributed to Ben Franklin when he wrote in 1744 in the publication Poor Richard's Almanac, tart words make no friends, spoonful of honey will catch more flies than a gallon of vinegar. And so that essentially got shortened to you can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. And I like this old saying, especially in view of our current culture where being strong seems to be the only virtue we even uh, talk about. Or maybe I should say it is an attribute which we have um, raised to a virtue. Strong can be valuable. I certainly don't think we need to sit around being weak. But there are other things besides being strong or being weak. And one of those things is being sweet. How we approach other people will certainly have an effect on those people that we're dealing with, as well as our success in getting the things we want or maybe um, sharing our ideas. I know while I was mayor, and some of you have heard me refer to the fact that I was mayor of our small community, I remember sitting at a meeting for the public and um, during that time, we were working on a very contentious project for redevelopment within our community. And oh, there was a woman one evening when it got to hear the citizens who just by her body language and alone, I knew I was going to get lambasted. And she got to the mic and, and she says to me, you lie and you're a liar. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I shut down right then and there. I just thought, I, I don't even care what this woman has to say. I hadn't lied. I'm not a liar. In the course of human existence, people might say something that sounds misleading, but if you get the entire context of, of what they said, you begin to realize, oh, that really wasn't a lie. I possibly misunderstood what that person said. And then, of course, there are those people who really do lie. I just hadn't lied in, with respect to this project at all. In fact, I felt I had gone out of my way to be very open. And there were other people that would come to the mic, and they were great. They were wonderful. They would express their concerns. They would be very organized in their thoughts. You know, number one, we want to see this happen. Number two, we don't want to see that happen. Number three, if you haven't considered this, we're asking you to consider it. I mean, there would just be um, a really well thought out conversation that somebody wanted to have. And when those people came up to the mic, I can tell you right now, I not only wanted to achieve what it is they were asking, I wanted to exceed what they were asking for because that was the whole purpose of my being there I wanted to to improve our community improve our neighborhood I was aware that I wasn't gonna make everybody happy and um, sometimes in life you simply can't but if there was a discrepancy between something that I wanted or something that they wanted I wanted to at least make certain we understood each other, that we understood what our discrepancy was. And there is a way to do that. We can do that by approaching each other in a very charitable way. And, and being charitable isn't a word that's very often used, but I love that word. It is the reflection of your love for God 
and it is manifested in how you treat other people. And that's important. It's important. That doesn't mean, like I said, that we don't have to be strong in our conviction for whatever the discussion might be. But it does mean that the way we approach someone can be softened and it can be sweet. And there's nothing wrong with being sweet. It's, it's a really good way to temper our, um, our own passions. I can tell you what that I know. Uh, there's no lie when they say redheads have a little bit of a temper. Um, I, I can feel very adamant about something and my knee-jerk reaction can be quite strong. But I, I like to think that I will temper that response, that knee-jerk response, with some sweetness, um, a, a kindness in talking with somebody else and uh, having the conversations about whatever it is. It might be a political issue, it might be a religious issue, but to be able to speak with each other in a kind fashion so that we actually can both learn more when we can hear each other and we listen to each other and we are more apt to do that when the approach is initially a kindness or a gentleness. Now moms know how this is as well. It's not just us adults. It's also we want to um, impart that knowledge to our children. How many times has a child come up to you and all of a sudden you hear them saying, Mom, I want, why can't I go? I want to do that. Oh my gosh, that whining. I, pff, it hardly matters what they're asking. That tone of voice can be so grating on your nerves. You've already stopped listening to, listening to them. And it's important that they begin to understand how I approach somebody and request something of them will certainly have an effect on that person and their willingness to um, accommodate my request. We just have to be careful about how we speak to each other and it's important that the children learn this. And yes, once again, my mother, when we started off with that whiny tone of voice, would say, you know, you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. And so without a big, long lecture, I knew exactly what she was saying. And I can remember, especially as maybe a 10-year-old, something around that age, regrouping, rethinking how I was going to address my mother and ask for something. And um, I did find I was much more successful at getting my mother and father's attention and getting them to come to my way of thinking by approaching them in a much gentler, a much sweeter form than that whining or that everybody else gets to do it. One of the things I like about the old sayings is that they really do carry us from childhood all the way to adulthood. And I mentioned to you, as I just mentioned to you, my experience as mayor. It's also something interesting that I'm noting as I've become more and more involved with YouTube, the responses to political articles or videos on YouTube, how many times somebody just uses an expletive. This person's a blank and idiot. What? How do we think we're going to win over someone by, by saying that? Do we, is it just, I'm not sure, maybe people out there just say that because it makes them feel good. It's just getting something off their chest. I don't know, but I do know this. It is not a way to help somebody come to your way of thinking. You need to put a little bit more thought behind what you're going to say. Sometimes we're making comments just kind of for fun um, or to be silly, and I understand that. But wow, the number of insulting comments and really on both sides of the aisle, this person is just evil. Well, you, you might think that, you might believe that, whoever that person is, and they might be. But it's a little bit um, more helpful if we can put a little bit more explanation behind the comment. 
um, I realize our comments underneath these YouTube videos are not meant to be dissertations. So I know we're all trying to keep those comments relatively short. But we can keep them short and we can keep them sweet. And I think there's a value in really taking time to consider how we communicate with each other. And if we're looking to create a world that we think is uh, more beautiful, more peaceful, more loving, then remember, you can catch more flies with honey than you can with vinegar. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Hope you push the like. I hope you subscribe and come back and visit.